Welcome to our exploration into the intricate world where personality psychology meets public health. Today we delve into a new study that reshapes our understanding of narcissism, revealing its potential as a double-edged sword in the context of state-level health outcomes across the United States. For decades, narcissism has been painted with a broad brush of negativity, often associated with grandiosity, entitlement, and a relentless pursuit of self-image. Yet this extensive research, drawing on data from over 4,000 individuals across 38 states, challenges us to see beyond the surface. It illuminates how narcissism, part of the dark triad alongside Machiavellianism and psychopathy, possesses adaptive qualities that could surprisingly benefit public health. Imagine a trait typically seen as maladaptive, now suggested to foster resilience, ambition, and a proactive stance towards personal health. The study's findings are compelling, indicating that these adaptive aspects of narcissism may lead to healthier lifestyle choices. This includes a commitment to regular exercise, dietary mindfulness, and engagement with preventive healthcare measures. These behaviors at an aggregate level could contribute to lower rates of obesity and depression, as well as reduced mortality from heart failure and hypertension in states with higher levels of narcissism. The study also sheds light on the potential downsides of narcissism when viewed from a societal lens. We see that in states with pronounced narcissistic traits, there's a tendency towards reduced sleep durations and an elevated demand for plastic surgery. This points to a societal pressure, possibly fueled by unhealthy standards of beauty and a relentless drive for perfection, prevalent in areas with higher narcissistic tendencies. This nuanced understanding of narcissism's impact on health outcomes underscores the importance of a balanced view. It invites us to recognize narcissism's potential to motivate healthful behaviors while also being cautious of its capacity to drive less beneficial outcomes, such as sleep deprivation and an obsession with physical appearance. The implications of this study for public health policies and interventions are profound. It suggests that by recognizing the dual nature of narcissism, we can develop more targeted health promotion strategies. These strategies could leverage narcissism's adaptive qualities to encourage healthy living, while also addressing the potential pitfalls of excessive self-focus and appearance-based self-esteem. But our journey doesn't stop with understanding narcissism's impact. This study opens the door for further research, urging us to explore the mechanisms through which narcissism influences health behaviors and outcomes, and how these may vary across different contexts and populations. It calls for an examination of the interactions between narcissism and other psychological and social factors, offering a more comprehensive understanding of its role in public health. It's clear that this study serves as a pivotal moment in how we perceive and leverage personality traits like narcissism within public health frameworks by challenging conventional views and highlighting the complex relationship between narcissism and health. It paves the way for a more nuanced and effective approach to improving health outcomes at both the individual and societal levels. This research not only broadens our understanding of the interplay between psychology and health, but also highlights the potential of incorporating psychological insights into public health strategies for a healthier future. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. Stay curious and keep exploring the fascinating ways in which the mind and body connect to shape our health and well-being. This video is based on the research paper, Mirror, Mirror on the Wall, Who's the Healthiest of Them All? The Surprising Role of Narcissism in State-Level Health Outcomes by Drichon Gruda et al. in the Journal of Research in Personality. What do you think about this research? Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.